as you can see um here is the engine setup and um, here i have the transmission um before i open the transmission me, uh, the, um like honestly speaking wanna like trying to open this side and uh, there is no oil but i prefer to empty it because um i don't want like i, I don't want to see oil coming from anywhere so i have to um pull all the oil that's inside the transmission away Here is the amount of oil I was able to pull out from the transmission. I've just changed the oil, so it's a fresh, cool oil and inside the transmission, so I, I don't have to worry. Like I'll put it back once I'm done with the transmission. Well guys, time to go ahead and open um, the transmission. guys finally um the transmission is open Let's to give you guys a closer look mm, well guys um this is how the transmission is actually as you guys can witness how how dirty and how messy um the transmission is it's a wood scooter so um you can't like pretend everything to be uh, clean new mm. so i'm going to like without wasting my time i'm going to take a uh, here i have the um the variator over here and over there i have the clutch um um probably i think i have to like um I start from here then I will um, get to do with the clutch um, I want to remove the variator over here but um, I couldn't figure out how to do it so to move ahead I, I ordered from Amazon this tool um, to hold the variator down um, I ordered it just within one day it came and I'm going to try to fix it here on the varita and try to remove it because it wasn't coming with the impact wrench um, I couldn't remove it like it wasn't coming off it got turned uh, I wanted to use something to um, like for temporary to hold it but I was scared I was going to break um, I was going to break it one of these things I think this way around we can fit it like this thing um, as I figured out is going to hold the varita um, where the um, the kickstarter goes it's going to um hold it and hold it in place so i will i will lock it with um the knot um it came with two bolts and i will put the bolts on both sides 
to hold the burrito at this place. <laughs> like for this engine, I have to fill it this way. But I think now the verita is very tight. It's, like, it's not it's not going anywhere. So I'm going to try to remove it. I'm going to try to remove the, the crotch. I don't know if it will come out. Luckily, uh, it just came off like it sounds like music, but maybe I have the very to block. And um, it did shake, it did turn, but still work out. I will leave this one for a moment and like concentrate here. I want to uh, remove the burrito first. So I'm trying to um, dismantle the, uh, the varieta. I'm going to take a piece of paper and put everything on it. Put it right back together in order to not lose any any of the its component, the burrito. I want to go further on to see uh, near the crankshaft how things are. Move this one too. I'm going to put it aside. Like, it's so rusty. Like you, you guys can wait and see. Like it's heavily rusty, but it doesn't have any damage on it. the washer put it aside like for now as you guys can see I'm um, like I, I'm I'm trying to this disassemble um, the crotch as well I'm taking it like piece after piece I'm moving it, anything I can the whole thing is coming
Mm, as you guys can see, I'm having the whole piece in my hands. kind of rusty uh, I don't know if you guys can see rusty in between but um, maybe uh, I'll try to remove it and take it apart and do an inspection like it does uh, move very good um, no problem with the clutch but uh, as I said we want to give uh, the whole setup an inspection and a cleanup Mm, I'm just inspecting the, with you guys how the the bed is, the transmission bed and um, condition. I want to see if it's worn out, like it has some da uh, small damages. Um, I'll finish. Um, for my my concern is in a good condition. So, um, for the bed, um like it's a thumbs up it's a thumbs up I, I don't have to do nothing to it I don't have to replace it and that's the good news about it and for the rest I think um, I have to uh, do something about it before I, I clean everything that I took out from here uh, both the varieta and uh, the crotch and um, I think uh, I have to start from the, um, the CVT case first I have to give it a proper clean because as you guys can see like it's very dirty inside like here you can like a lot of stuff a lot of dirty stuff here so I'm going to um, start from here to clean it with a brick cleaner. Where's my brick cleaner? Yeah, I'm going to use my a brick cleaner over here. Um, uh, try to clean as much as I can. Um, I will clean both here, the CVT uh, case over here, and then I'll, I'll clean the cover as well. That's over there. You guys can see but I'll bring it very closer to clean it where with um, the degreaser um, as much as you can uh, by working with the brush um, this uh, as far as I can get it cleaner uh, it's not perfect, but though um, it's better than before. Like, it's much more cleaner inside here, inside the CVT uh, case. Mm, I might put it uh, somewhere for it to um, dry up, and I'm going to go ahead and clean the cover as I did over here I'm going to do the same thing over there let's go ahead I remove I remove the the kick startup set up to uh, be able to clean only the keys only the um, the cover um, was in the way so I have to get rid of it how to remove it to put it aside I will clean it separately but for now I'm going to focus on this
Mm. As much as I can, um, this is the, the farthest I can do. Mm. Might leave it like this and see. Uh, How it goes I'm on working table I'm on my table and I'm going to start by cleaning the burrito I'm going to give it a clean yeah I do have this knot as well it's very rusty mm. for the rusty part I think I will use um, some kind of uh, uh, an iron brush to give it um, a clean like to brush it off the rust mm. let me um here I'm going to uh, start by spraying a, a, a brake cleaner I'm going to uh, spray oh the brake cleaner is like I'm using the one I want to finish it so I can start with a new one and then I'll scarf it with um, seasoned red grape. I think we uh, the surface here. I'm done. Like it's it's perfectly smooth. Um, the brake cleaner over here and see maybe it will um, remove this um, uh, some of the dirt over here it will get it out like I'm not hoping like it will come out but later on I'll try with a degreaser um, and see if something comes out but uh, uh, as I'm here I'm going to try with the brake cleaner But in, for the inner part, I'm wondering, like, I'm going to try with an um, iron brush. I'm going to use my small impact wrench um, to try with an iron brush if I can clean some of the rust. Let's try. think with this one too I'm done as you guys can see it um, the iron brush um, did it its work um, work perfectly remove all the dust so I'm yeah I'm done with it I'm, um, I'm done with it. Uh, this side of the burrito, I'm going to put it aside and bring the main dish the other side. See what we can do. This is the other side of the burrito, guys. We have this plastic bushing over here. Mm. Let me remove it and put it aside. Oh, it's very rusty over here. So you guys can see it. So I think for that we are going to use the iron brush as we did before. But I'm going to look to it later on. Uh, let's focus on here. Like for as far for the inside, I think um, for now I'm going to remove all the the rollers. I'm going to remove the rollers and, and put them aside. I don't want to uh, let them fall and mess them, so I'm going to put them aside. Uh, we have this um, this uh, small spin and uh, this bushing. 
it's not coming off. It's supposed to come out there. Well, I'm going to leave it and focus on cleaning here. For the uh, for the surface, I'm done. Surface of the radiator, uh, variator, I think I'm, I might leave it like that. Yeah, I thought uh, I was able to remove the, this inner bushing. I'm going to gently scarf it with some people. Um, I'm going to scalpel some people and it might be good if I use the brush or oh, some people will be good um just going to scalp scarf it a bit and then spray um some a little bit of um brake cleaner on and I think I'm done. With this one too, I'm done. I put it aside. Um, now with um, I'm left with this. I'm going to try with the iron brush to uh, brush on the rusty part and see uh, how much uh, rust we can get out. Uh, the surface is very rusty. I think for the raft, I was able to, uh, thanks to the iron, iron brush, I was able to remove a lot of dust, a lot of rust uh, from the plate. As you can see, it's not perfect, but I think um, I might accept it as it is. I'm going to uh, spray a brake cleaner and give it a little scarf and see if it might get a little bit better. I'm going to assemble, um, I'm going to put everything back into um, at this side of the variator. I'm going to put everything back and, and put aside. Then I have um, this one too to clean. Um, this little pin still uh, keeps coming off. Mm, I think with this one too, I'm done. I'm going to put aside. Mm, uh, then um, I do have uh, the starter gear over here. I'm just going to like um, spray it because it's not like it's not worth trying to uh, do much on this. I'm going to just um, spray something like spray the. I'm going to spray it with uh, the black cleaner, slightly um, there inside inside the hole. Mm, then um, lastly, I do have um, this uh, small 
bushing over here uh, with this rank Well guys, well with this um with the burrito I'm done. Uh, next I'm going to I'm going to bring it, uh, I'm going to um, do something to the to the crotch. Well guys now um, I'm going to uh, disassemble uh, the crotch. Um, I don't have the the tool to uh, hold the whole um, the whole clutch in place. I don't have the tool to like um, to clamp the whole clutch. I'm going to put it on the floor and use my leg to um, press the clutch and try to remove this knot over here, the center knot. Mm, uh, let me remove this once I'm here. As you can see, it's on the floor. And I'm going to use um, 41 millimeter socket over here, and I'm going to attach it to my impact gun and try to remove the knot. Hey guys, um, it came off. Have the knot in your in our hands. Um, then we have the this side of the clutch, the shoes in our hands. As you can see, going to remove the rusty this rusty um, this rusty spring over here. Seems like many years that it hasn't been taken off. Nothing has been down to it. Let me uh, take you guys to my working table and continue on and show you guys how I'm going to clean it. Mm, well, now guys, I'm having the whole thing on my working table and I'm going to like try to clean the whole setup. Um, I still have to remove this groove over here uh, in order to um, have the pulley like disassemble totally. I need a screwdriver, a flat screwdriver to move this groove over here. I want to remove the pin that's holding. Um, I don't know if they are there. Yeah, you can see there is a pin over here. Yeah, the pin just fall out. I, I I want to use something to pull it out. They just fall out by itself. I think one is still inside. Might use a ply. This ply to remove it. Yeah, there we are. And let's see if it will come off. There it comes off. Half one side of the pulley over here. And the other side. them aside for for now I'm going to start with the rust I'm going to brush off any uh, rusty stuff on or uh, all the pieces like on the groove as like you can see in my hands um, then I'll move to the spring and to um, like to the puller this puller as well Maybe this one too, like this one is not rusty. Uh, maybe give it a little bit of touch over here.
Mm. I think with this, uh, I'm done with the rust. Uh, it was just here and there. I think I'm, um, with this, I'm done with, with the rust. I'm, I might put it aside. Put it somewhere over here. Uh, the, uh, the knot uh, doesn't need to be like, doesn't need nothing. I'm waiting for my compressor to uh, lower a bit of air. Uh, for the meantime, I'm going to clean up uh, all the grease um, that's inside it here. I'm going to give it a clean with, with a tissue. Um, I think guys it might be better if I scuff it instead of using the iron brush to uh, brush the rusty part it, it doesn't have rust like after cleaning with the paper uh, I can see that it, it's not a rust it's just like mm, just dead so I'm going to uh, scuff it uh, with um, 60 uh, grade and see if um, get good I'm going to spray some breaking it on it and scuff it um I think with this side of the pulley uh, I'm I'm done I'm going to put it aside um, for this one, for the groove, I think I have to, it's, uh, it's rusty, so I have to like brush it off, brush off the rust. I think with the groove I'm done, I'm going to put it aside, make it dry by itself, let's move ahead, I think um, for now maybe I want to leave um, the spring for last, let's focus on this, um, this one I, I don't think, I don't see any rust, mm, maybe here on top here, needs to This rusty just on the top here. Now let me give it a um, break, break cleaner. I'm going to spray a blade cleaner on it. I'm done with it. to um, scalp the surface to um, in order to remove this thing over here it's not coming off mm, I think with this one too I'm done with the side then I'm getting dirty over here Boards over here. Then I'm 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 left with just this this one the spring. Mm. I'm going to try to clean it up as well. For the meantime, I think we let me clean um these two pins. I 
out but I'm trying to clean with the people up first then I'll give it a, um, a little bit I'll, I'll clean it with um, with a brick cleaner I'll give it a, a little bit of brick cleaner I'll spray, I'll spray it with a brick cleaner then I'll put them aside yeah here they are I think I'm done with them, put them aside. I'm going to start by cleaning it a bit with my, um, with this iron brush. I'm going to start uh, by doing it with my hands and then I'll move later on with my hair too. Um, with iron brush, I'll try to uh, see if it does remove some of the rust. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to uh, give it, I'm going to spray it with um, a brake cleaner, then scarf it a bit and I'm done with it. I'm going to go ahead and assemble everything. I don't know if you guys can see um, the perfect uh, work I've done on this spring was rusty, the most rustiest thing in the clutch and I was able to make it like 10 pretty new like thumbs up um, I did a, a perfect job as you guys can see no rust like the rust has to be like it's hiding right here where I can reach at the end but like both at the top and at the bottom I can see a little rust but beside that the whole uh, spring is like it's almost it's like new mm. with this I think I'm done with the clutch I'm going to put aside and um, I'll go ahead and sample everything put all uh, the clutch together be ready for uh, the CVT. Mm -hmm. 